Hello and welcome. I'm Frank and Thing, and this is part two of me drawing the thing. If you didn't see part one, you should go check that out. I do Mac in there with the flamethrower. It's pretty sweet. And now I gotta do the creature on fire, of course. I think I made it complicated enough. So uh, I think I'm just gonna get straight into it with the uh, outline. I'm going to outline the creature all in black, and then I'm going to do the fire itself in just red. I'm just going to outline it in red. I'm going to try to do it, because that's how I did it with this flame, so i got to do the same thing with this fire. And hopefully I don't mix up the lines and make the right, wrong one black. That would make me very sad. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh crap, this part right here is the leg sticking out. Should I make this line black? Or should I make that line red? What would make the most sense? I should probably just do it black, huh?
Ah, fire. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. That was a close one. I just wanted to show off these cool stickers I had that no one ever sees except me. Well, damn. I'd say that looks cool as hell. It definitely looks like it's on fire. I love the way this, uh, this white picks up. It works really good on this tan paper. So when you do the white, it really shows through on top of the yellow. That's great. I really love this. I have to say that I really played it uh, super fast and loose with this too when I was coloring it. Where this one I was way, way slower, way more meticulous. It's probably because for this one I had a very specific reference and this one I did not. This one I kind of just had to make it up as I went along. I mean, I did look at a bunch of monster reference photos. And that's where I got the heads from and the arm from kind of. And a bunch of them had the, you know, the stomach parts split open. I kind of wish, if I was going to do this again, that I would open this up more and make it look more like uh, you can see the depth of being able to like actually go inside, maybe. It looks kind of flat, kind of closed off. And I kind of wish there were more of these uh, tentacle things sticking out, but I was afraid to put more because I didn't know what to do with them because they would just end up going across and covering the parts that I really liked and wanted to stand out. And I really simplified the coloring of the creature too because I know I wanted to make the fire the most complicated part when we use the most colors. So the creature I only really used, you know, two main colors to do the fleshy thing. And then pink and then the fire obviously was yellow, red, orange, white, yeah. And then I left a lot of skin breaks too, which really helps leave highlights and stuff. And it, it is very cool looking. I really love this. And I'd say it was a lot, uh, it was more fun doing this, even though I was a little more afraid and like, as I was going, I'm like, man, I really, cause I didn't know if it was going to work out or not at all. I'm like, I man, I hope this looks like something. Like, I know it looks like a monster, but because I did such, I really love the way I did this. So doing the creature really, uh, was really stressing me out a bit. And because I had no like solid reference, like this one I had a solid reference that if you find it, it looks exactly like this with like pieces of this arm and this arm are from other creatures, but I still had to kind of piece them together in its own thing. And then I really had to figure out how to make the fire. You know, I wanted it to flow like real fire did. So that was also a concern for me. But with the fire too, it also made uh, the creature a little bit easier because I just had to do mostly the torso part and I, I'm like, I can just cut the rest of this off and just make it like engulfed in flames and proud of the way this turned out. This whole thing, it goes together so well. Now I just have to like work on backgrounds, I guess. Like I gotta figure out, I could do characters. Now I need, you know, if I had a snowy background or a compound background, it would, it would bring the whole thing together. So yeah, that's the whole thing. Um, also, I heard the uh, the thing, the 40th anniversary is coming up in like three months. From when it premiered 40 years ago, that's so long. I'm not even 40 years old. And um, we're not even gonna mention the, uh, the remake they did in 2011, was it? Yeah, we're not even gonna bring that up. I'm not going to bring up how they used CGI in it. Yeah, I don't want to bring that up at all. We, don't, we have no reason to talk about that and how they, you know, CGI'd it up. <sighs> Whose decision was that? Anyways. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this was part two. Make sure you check out part one or don't. I don't know. It doesn't matter because Mac's right here. If you want to see the process, I guess. If not, I still appreciate you very much. And you have yourself a glorious day.